Hello everyone, welcome back to another devlog, sort of. Um, you saw the title of the video. So I have decided to cancel my game that I've been working on for a while now. And if you're new to the channel, you may be thinking, wait, you have a game? That's part of the problem, actually. I actually started this channel when I canceled the game a few years ago. At the time, I just didn't really know what I was doing and I lost my confidence and I was struggling just to make anything. I'm not there anymore. I have been doing the 20 games challenge, which was my way of learning to make games. And I feel really happy about that progress. Right now I'm identifying as a student. I'm learning to make games. I'm not telling people that I'm a developer because honestly, I haven't finished a complete and good game. And so I had a couple goals for this year. One was finish the 20 games challenge, but the other one was to get a game on Steam. And my thought is it was going to be this game that I started uh, about six months after I started the channel. I was retelling the story of this guy named Saint Telemachus, and uh, yes, I was getting his name wrong, which would only be more embarrassing is that if that was the name of the game itself, which it is. <laughs> um, but basically, I wanted to tell a story, and I picked a story that I thought was interesting and compelling, and I started trying to build up a game around it. If you were to go through all my old devlogs, what you'd see is pre-production and planning work. You wouldn't see any actual game development work. And so while this stuff is, I don't know, kind of cool and interesting, it's not enough to pull people into a, a devlog series. And I've struggled to gain any audience for this game. And I realized some of the advice I've been listening to was from GDC talks with large companies. For a established AAA developer, you can just post a picture with a date on it and people will go crazy. And for an indie, that's not feasible. <laughs> you need to mark it up front. And so I, that's actually why I have to announce a cancellation of a game is I started marketing my game before I even knew what it was. My first video was literally just, I think I'm ready to make a game. I think my next video was, here's the name and the idea. And then of course this paperwork I have of drawing out some ideas and things. But what I never made is a game prototype. And I realized after three years of planning, this is a big game. Realistically, it's going to be a few years worth of work <laughs> based off the current design I have. And right now, that is, it's, it's a lottery ticket, honestly. I've seen all these posts online of people go, oh, I spent X years on a game and nobody cared. And that's really unfortunate. I don't want to end up there. So spending all that time on a game, I want to see that there's engagement up front. That goal I had of, I just want to get a game on Steam within the calendar year, I think is still valid. And honestly, I think is the right goal right now. And so I actually have not one, but three ideas for what I can do instead. And so I have three prototypes. I have three games that I'm interested in and I'm not sure which one to do, so that's my part of this video, is I'd love to get some feedback. The first one is actually the game that I cancelled all those years ago, because it was actually a small game. I just, at the time, was struggling to make Pong, you know, I needed more skills. And I had that, I know I can finish that one. But so that game was called Survive the Maze, there's a working title. I was calling it a MOBA light, but it's basically like Pac-Man. One side you're playing as a minotaur in the maze, and the other side you're playing as these people who are carrying a light. It's more lore-based than story-based, which I think is easier to write because then the players are helping you build the story instead of tearing it apart. <laughs> it's basically the story of the minotaur mixed with the book of Ecclesiastes. So that was a idea I had. Another one was I, I made a few games within the 20 Games Challenge that ended up not being a direct remake, and the one was mother load this was an old flash game that i think has more potential than what i see in the market today and this was a really really fun prototype i went back and was recording some of my footage recently and ended up playing this one for a number of minutes <laughs> looked at the clock and went wow i didn't need 15 minutes of footage but here we are but so this is a mining game you're going and digging up stuff and the idea was to add in a like a subnautica type story of you have you know crashed a spaceship on this planet and you need to go collect resources in order to repair that ship to leave but every time you die you have to crack open a new life pod it's a passenger vessel you have whatever number makes sense like a thousand and when you run out the game's over that's it it's not really a moral conundrum but there is that dilemma of Am I, how many people am I going to actually save? Am I going to be 
cracking open the last life pods with the seven-year-old and be like, hey, your parents are dead. You need to go mine some rocks or you're going to be dead too. But so that was the idea for that one was to give this more of a story and have everything building up off that. You're trying to mine these resources. You need to collect fuel to keep the life pods running, but you also need to collect the materials. Also the same materials you used to upgrade your ship. And so uh, basically this kind of push and pull of how many risks do you take? Because the more risks you take, the faster you can get off the planet and the less lives you're going to lose. So that was that other one. And then the final one was actually my very last video. I just made a really fun arcade game. This was a roguelite, or roguelike. This was basically vampire survivors, except it was asteroids. And it was all of the lessons I've been learning from my arcade remakes back in the day. And this one, there's no story. It was just, it was really fun. And actually the video didn't do that well, but I wanted to try again. I wanted to do just a little bit more on it. Uh, so actually right now, this is the game I'm currently working on. I'm going to call it Space Rock Survivors, and I'm trying to get another prototype up. So I did this in, it was like a 30-hour challenge. I'm going to be redoing this, and this one I will do a little bit more work on. I'm not going to promise a Steam release for this game, but I do want to say there'll be one more video. There'll be a few more posts on uh, social media, and if there's interest, I may continue this one forward. But I do want to get feedback if you guys think, hey, everything, the other ones you talked about sound more interesting. For any, any of these three games I decide to continue with, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start off with a prototype. It's going to be a one month project, get it up and running, make a video. And when I do that, it's also going to be available on itch in its current form for free download. So you can go download the game, play the game, give feedback. And then that's going to be the cycle is a, from the very, very start, a open early, whatever pre-alpha, whatever you want to call that. But there's going to be prototypes available at every single stage of all the way through. And so there's not going to be any, you know, secrecy of, oh yeah, I'm, re I'm going to release a game. It looks interesting. It's like, no, 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 it's this version's out. Go play it. Tell me what's good. Tell me what's bad. And I think having working prototypes would make one, the devlogs more interesting, uh, but two, might be able to generate more interest in the game itself. And so that's the plan. I still am going to try to be finishing that game, ideally within a year, whichever one of the three I end up going with. Uh, but I wanted to get some feedback. Obviously, if I make a game and I get to the end of this year and it's not good, I can spend more time on it. But I really want to try to just get something out there and to go through that experience of releasing a Steam game, because that is a huge huge hurdle I have not gotten over yet. And I'd love to have that uh, when when this year ends or um, if it takes a little bit longer, I'd love to be able to look back and go, yeah, I I did it. I got a game on Steam and I you know, finished this other learning process. I am a game developer and I'm, I'm ready to go with whatever bigger, scarier projects. Um, I, I feel comfortable doing that at this point. So that's the goal. But I just wanted to make a quick, quick video to talk about that and Get some feedback and see what you guys think. If any of these prototypes sound interesting, sound worth doing, let me know. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.